Hey everybody! Welcome back! Northern Lions Challenges in the Binding of Isaac. We're doing head trauma today. I don't know what this entails. I still don't know if giving you guys the seed even does anything on these challenges, but I can do it anyway. Okay, we got tiny... We got all the items that embed themselves in your head, apparently. Interesting. Um, well, let's just talk about what we got here. 2Q0T HS8A 8A And this is head trauma. What do we have? We have tiny planet Concussive tears Small rock and whatever that can is. Is that not soy milk? That is soy milk. Oh, man. Alright This one Promises to be one of the tougher challenge. Well, it's probably the toughest challenge we've done thus far. One of the things, by the way, that I remember now what uh, people were talking about. One of the things you can do with uh, this challenge is walk forwards but fire backwards like this, and it makes it a little easier to hit the kind of things you're trying to hit. I'm gonna get my mouse pointer off the screen. My apologies. So yeah, uh, that'll make it a little bit easier. It's gonna screw me for dodging because I've never, you know, utilized that strategy before. In my life. That being said, uh, I think we can do it, and I think this run is is rife for sweet synergies if we can just make them happen. I mean, we are firing like crazy, very very quickly, and I'm. This is time for me to put my money where my mouth is, I guess, because I've always been that guy. At least lately, I've been that guy that um, is saying tiny planets not so bad and soy milk's not so bad, and everybody's just a bunch of big babies complaining about everything. So let's fucking you know put up or shut up, right? Here we go. Holy Mantle, I mean always Holy Mantle would be so good, but Holy Mantle would be so, so good here. If we could just like, anything that enhances our defense seems incredible. So that we can just worry about like, firing and not getting hit basically. Which I guess is just all you have to worry about in Isaac to begin with, but you know, particularly on a run like this it feels even more uh, <laughs> important basically to be able to take a punch and maybe, you know, not really have any problems result as a result of it. The other things that could help out? Damage upgrades, homing tears, I don't know man, rubber cement, parasite, that kind of shit could get pretty crazy. Um, we're not doing so poorly against the Widow here. I expect that this will be kind of a long boss fight. I expect this is going to be a little bit of a longer challenge run than normal too. But we've only got to beat Mom and that's not always very tricky. Sometimes it can be though. Sometimes I feel like I don't have a partner. Sometimes I feel that my only friend is uh, the city I live in. The city of uh, angels. Uh, lonely as I am, together we cry. You know, that's Vancouver, the city of angels. Um, we're going to go to our curse room. It's just one spirit heart for maybe something amazing. Like one spirit heart. <laughs> and then we'll leave, and that's going to do it. This is an interesting idea for a challenge. I kind of like this. We're like, you know... Parting the Red Sea as we walk here. If there's enemies on the sides, get ready to get fucked. But for now, down to the next floor. I'm going to assume that this is like the other challenge, the last one we did, and it's just not going to have any items attached to it. Any item rooms, I should say. And if, that th if that's the case, that's okay. I guess these are the other things that would be great, is uh, if we could either, you know, get the mulligan or... Uh, like Infestation 2 or something along those lines. Anything that gave us familiars, but particularly familiars that actively seek and destroy. So like, Dead Bird is another one, but I'd rather not have Dead Bird if I have a choice in the matter, because it, it requires us to take damage in order to use it, but it would be okay as a passive. At least if we're not having too much trouble hitting enemies. It's just kind of hitting them consistently, I guess, that's a little bit more problematic. I don't know if firing behind me is having any demonstrable effect, but it it feels like a it's not just a placebo, you know? It feels like it's actually helping. Certainly, like when we fire in front of us, the shots don't immediately arrive anyway. They kind of go into their own arc regardless, so I don't think I'm missing out too much here. I think this is mostly going to be a run about dodging and not so much a run about killing. That happens from time to time. In uh, Fish Head, I was going to say Infestation, it's got a similar effect, but it's pretty good. Yep, uh, I don't like that very much. That's me being an idiot. All right, Monstro. Monstro's law applies whether you want it to or not. British Bulldog's gonna win whether he wants to or not. I get messages sometimes that are like, dude, I love it when you reference SummerSlam in London. Or maybe it's WrestleMania in London, sorry. And I'm like, yeah, me too. That is a great, uh, 
It is a great clip. If you haven't seen it, I'll set it up for you. WrestleMania is coming to England. I believe that Bret Hart is uh, fighting the British Bulldog. Obviously, you know, Bret the Hitman Hart. Spokesman for Pizza Pizza and all-around Canadian dude. Um, and they're interviewing people outside. It's like a 15-second long video. It's less long than this description. And they interview a child, and he basically goes, British Bulldog's gonna win, whether he wants to or not. And I can't even say it without cracking a smile, because it's just so ridiculous. Why wouldn't British Bulldog want to win? I don't know, it's, maybe it's a comment on, like, uh, the ridiculousness of, uh, well, not ridiculous, but, like, you know, maybe British Bulldog really didn't want to win. So I made him, uh, I was gonna say I made a mistake, but I'm not gonna say that I made a mistake. I made a decision to take Judas Shadow. Why would I make a decision like this? Why would I willfully get rid of HP to pick up an item that only helps us if we die, and if we respawn, we're gonna be probably fucked anyway? Um, for fun, for one. Maybe a little bit of bravado seeping in, which is not, you know, always great to admit. Pride always comes before a fall. But, um, I also feel like it actually could be useful. And I feel like having Devil Precedent is gonna help me out a lot, even though I expressed a desire for Holy Mantle. Range up, I think, might actually be bad. I'm not totally sure, though. Let's take two of them, just to make sure. Then call me in the morning. Ah, yeah. I, I hate this room. This has now become my least favorite room in uh, the Binding of Isaac Rebirth history. We really can't afford to lose any of our precious HP here, so... Uh, let's just hopefully kill some of these guys before things get too dire. Um, and we haven't really... We got one HP up, but that's it. I really don't want to use you as a shadow. I'm starting to regret picking it up already. Don't get buyer's remorse so early. We'll be fine. Just cool it here. Oh man, we could just find a space bar item actually worth something here. Life would be greater than Golf of the Gator, but unfortunately we don't have it right now. I'm going to take a drink of my water and we're going to move on. One thing's for sure, I don't want to find myself doing this challenge more than once. <laughs> So let's get whatever we need to get to make it work. Just a soy milk mom's knife tiny planet run. Just your standard soy milk tiny planet mom's knife bullshit absurd run. 1080p gameplay walkthrough, ending, etc., etc. All right. Uh, just stay far, far away. This is, I don't even like concussive tears. Get out of here with that shit. Oh god. Oh. If they get close to me, I'd like the normal defense when an enemy gets close to you that's going to explode is don't fire. That does not work anymore because the shots stay in the air for far too long. I don't even know what another strategy is. Like stay on one side of the map until you're ready to go in there and do some attacking. Oh man. Good boss room, hopefully a devil room. I got to give myself the opportunity to get a devil room though. I'm going to keep firing. If you think I'm going to stop firing, you're out of your gourd, mate. There is no way I'm going to be able to approach this shit tactically. So let's just not even pretend like that is on the table. There we go. Yeah, one shot hit you. Get fucked. There we go. I have to. There's no... I mean, the, the speed downgrade... Sure, I mean, I guess it kind of sucks, but... I mean, the, the extra HP is invaluable, especially when I gave this much HP away to pick up Judas Shadow for reasons that now I'm feeling like are exceptionally stupid. For now, this is good stuff. I really want to see some sweet synergies like like Parasite or something like that. I don't even know if that would work. Like, Or Cricket's Body, that's the one I, I really want. Cricket's Body. Cricket's Body means I don't need homing tears. Because you're getting hit. The whole screen's going to be full, thanks to Soy Milk. All right, we got to shoot behind us. You're shooting in front of you. No, wait, I was shooting behind us. Okay. Sorry, my brain got uh, reversed there. Here we go. These enemies seem like a fucking nightmare to actually kill. Because once they get down into that ooze state, you got to hit them like 16 more times with soy milk. Actually get the kill done. You're doing a pretty good job of at least putting them into that state. Now just put it all together. Oh, here you go. This could have done it. I think I gotta maybe like dodge into them when they get down to the ooze state. Like, let's try this. That would look pretty good. Temporarily. This is gonna be a nightmare. Seriously. Oh, we, we almost got one. We almost got one. I know I have a bomb. I really don't want to use it. I only got one bomb. The problem is it takes like longer 
then their cooldown time for our shots to do one circle. Oh, there we go. Okay, I got an idea. There we go. There we go. This is how we do it. We got to kill them, and then we stand, like, just in front of them. So wait till we get, like, a good position here. Yeah, we kill them, then we stand just in front of them, and it's like tears in the rain. There we go. There we go. Okay. Took us a minute there. So we got to put ourselves in, like, the most vulnerable position to actually get these guys killed. I love it. It's fucking stupid. Oh, right. There's still one more wave of enemies to tackle here. Actually, this just seems like a good way to attack enemies in general is stand, you know, directly in their line of fire and fire in front of them. It's ridiculous, but it actually appears to be getting the job done faster here than just, you know, firing the shots into the abyss and hoping for the best. This is already taking longer than Pitch Black, I think. Not the movie. I, I mean, I wouldn't know. I haven't seen it, but I hear it's pretty good. So we are going to have to go through that big room. Not loving the idea of that. You know when Fred Durst said, now I know y'all be loving this shit right here? I don't think he was talking about the head trauma challenge in uh, The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. Just guessing. Mostly because he says L-I-M-P Biscuit is right here. I mean, that, that, I'm, I'm not an expert speller. But I believe that's that spells the name of his musical trio, Limb Biscuit. They're actually a quartet. Five cents means our shop is still largely not useful. These guys actually surprisingly easy now. One of the few enemies who appear to, uh, we appear to benefit from fighting them with our newfound skills. All right, I'm getting a little bit of strategy involved here with uh, with head trauma. Strangely enough, we stand in front of them and fire in the other direction. It's all right. I'll wait. Okay, that was dumb, but it worked. Come on, fly. Thank you. Alright, so we still have half our spirit heart. We really want to guarantee ourselves these deals with the devil if possible. Wow, this is funny. I'm laughing my ass off of that. That's a hilarious game. You're a real joker. Like Heath Ledger style, though. And that's not a comment about, you know, his, his death. I mean, like, you're, you're straight up evil right now. Okay, we got two bombs. What are we going to do with two bombs? Oh, good, we're going to get Chad. Okay. This is exactly what the doctor ordered. Now, Chad should actually not be so hard. We have bombs. That was a good start with those bombs, by the way. And we can keep him confused. Never mind. All right, so there goes our deal with the devil. Now I'm mostly just hoping we actually live through this fight. We're only halfway through it as of yet. This dude gets pretty fast. And you know what? Having little Chad might not be the worst item in the world. It's not going to make our next floor any easier. But it'll make our whole run easier. Eventually. Okay. Let's just not die first. And the nubs, we got the same problem. We got to stand like right next to them. And we got to hit them a lot successively. B. Successive. B. I, I can't believe I thought I was going to beat Chad without taking damage. I think I said Chud a hundred. Chud. Chub a hundred times too. Why am I looking at the clock like I'm going to do boss rush mode? Come on now. Don't be ridiculous. Good trinket. Good trinket. That is not what I'm looking for. How does this even work? Not at all is the answer to that question. I love this run. <laughs> so, what do we do? Well, above all else, not taking damage is pretty high on the to-do list right now. Oh, shit. I don't like these bats, man. I don't like these bats. Okay, we're alive. We even have a penny to our name. Oh, little Chad, you're not going to give me shit for that? Well, to blow this up, oftentimes it has a pretty good chance to give you some red hearts in return. Oh, I don't have a bomb. Disregard. Sweet. Oh, we have a scent. Don't, okay, you almost blew it. You almost fucking blew it right there. You take your penny, and you play this guy right here. Wonderful. Well, um, I'm thinking this run's probably not going to last too much longer. 
In theory, it shouldn't be too hard for us to be Poops McGee here. In theory, though, anything can happen. Well, that doesn't really make any sense. That's a fundamental ignorance of what science is, but uh, that doesn't stop a lot of people. Oh, geez, okay. Red Heart, I love you. Oh, Spirit Heart, we're back in it. I, I was basically getting ready to think, like, are we going to keep this episode? Anytime I, I get rid of an episode, it has happened. It's not because I want to, like, trick you. I don't want to, like, show up and be like, check it out, guys. Never heard of this head trauma challenge, but I, I'm, be I'm betting you start with all the items that are impacted in your head. Oh, look, I'm a genius. No, I don't do that. Mostly, it's just like, man, do I want to put a 12-minute video up and people are going to be real salty about that? And, you know, rightfully so. The standard is set for, like, longer episodes than 12 minutes anyway. Um, but now that we can actually live... I'm planning the victory parade. I'm pretty sure that we've got a, a guaranteed win on our hands right here. Not getting cocky at all. I forgot that if we died, by the way, we'd come back with Judas' shadow. So I, I probably shouldn't have been as despondent as I was. Hopefully someone just got married, because it sounds like there's a car accident outside. I'm not saying I want newlywed couples to get in a car accident. No, no, no. I'm saying that uh, hopefully that, that, that honking was... Um, in celebrate hopefully it was happy honking let's put it that way honk if you're happy tonight yeah that was a really good start i feel really good about myself walking onto that spike um what we will do let's come down here give you maybe like a little two center there i appreciate that a great deal tell you what we'll blow up this piece of shit no way we're playing that can't imagine an alternate universe where that ends up being useful for us, so... I'm glad we got our spirit heart back and we got some red hearts. Next thing I'll do is probably get a new chair. This one's getting kind of squeaky. I wonder if we could re-roll our whole run and just end the head trauma challenge right here by getting, like, a dice room. That would be hilarious. And preferable, maybe. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. This... re-rolls our whole run. I've got to try it, just for absurdity's sake. We did it. We're the greatest players of all time. What the fuck? So we have, like, Ares. My reflection. An attack. A bunch of attack flies. I have no idea what's happening here. Um, I'm not worried about long term. Just keeping ourselves alive. So let's, let's take a look here. My reflection. Judah's shadow. Gemini. Ares. Libra, caffeine pill, this is... Look, I know there's going to be some people who are mad about that. I can't stop you. That being said... Oh, we got Daddy Long Legs, too. That being said, what did I tell you in all these challenge episodes? You know, if I can get Mom's Knife, Brimstone, if I can get any uh, any advantage, I'm going to take it. Because God knows, Isaac itself will take any advantage to kick the shit out of you. Now, it's like, we got good damage, we can actually aim our tears. I, we got a pretty good chance of winning the run. Now, what would be great is if uh, I thought I'd scummed the game, but in actuality, like, it's just like, well, you didn't finish the game with Tiny Planet, so you don't, you haven't beaten the challenge, technically. That is like the one time when the dice room has really made me a much happier person. I appreciate that a lot. Well, now it's just like a, an easy vanilla Isaac run. I don't mind if I do. All right. So that was like Caves 2. Yeah, it's going to be depths one and then on to the end, basically. Sure, I'll put a couple bombs down here. You never know what we're going to get. You never know if you don't go as well. All right, so straight up, I'm going to scum the shit out of the game even more. We put a, put a bomb down here. We can pretty much just skip this floor. Head on down to the next one. I'm not trying to rush through things. I'm basically just trying to take this to its logical absurdity point, which is that, you know, let's kick the shit out of the game is best as we can give it some head trauma maybe scumbag northern lion you know complained about what the reaction would be if he uploaded a 12 minute video then tries to beat the game in like 16 minutes hey i'll take it i was looking forward to seeing what kind of cool synergies we could get but at the same time mostly i just want to make sure i beat these challenges in a funny way if possible and i don't think there's much funnier than re-rolling your whole run it is worth noting, by the way, if I may uh, defend myself a little bit. This challenge could have gone way off the rails when I did that reroll. Who knows what we could have got? It would have been hard to be worse, but certainly not outside of the realm of possibility for it to be worse. 
It has happened. You reroll a bad run into an even worse one. I don't even know. Maybe we could actually go even further and try to fight like Mom's Heart via this room right here. That would just be silly at this point. You're going to make me try, aren't you? I can't say no. At this point, this this run is entirely about the absurdity of the situation that we found ourselves in. Sure, I'll give it a try. I don't even know what I'm expecting at this point. Our run is not tailor-made to survive the womb. Um, like, for real, though. Uh, we're not do we're doing damage, but it's not that much damage. We have some HP at our disposal. I don't even know. I don't have Judas Shadow anymore, I'll tell you that much, because... Uh, we can see that we don't have more than one life. I don't think we have Lump of Coal. I've been watching the tiers to see if they get uh, larger. We also no longer have Little Chad. Bit of a shame. Well, hopefully this compensates for me being a scumbag. Forcing myself to go like further and further down into the womb and fight harder and harder bosses. At this point, I just want to see what happens, man. I don't know. Oh, shit. Can you even walk over those anymore? Maybe you can't. Oh, I, don't, I didn't want to do all this just for fanny pack. Okay, you can, but it's a little narrower, I guess. Fanny pack's okay, but not really worth the, the cost of doing business there. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about our damage, right? Like, it's, it's acceptable here. We're not derelict. Where's my lumps at? They have a tendency to be a little sneaky like that. I think we're going to die. And I think it's all my fault. And I think that's kind of hilarious. There's a lump behind us. Come on, Daddy Long Legs. Thank you. Maybe we'll win, though. I don't know. We get, like, a super special room for cheating the shit out of the... the our opportunity here you only get one shot do not miss a chance to cheese the shit out of the game comes like you know more than once a week actually okay that could have gone better but it could have gone worse I'm gonna try putting some bombs down here um, it's, it's not gonna work but I said I'm gonna try not that I'm gonna do it and I guess I'm really hoping for like a deal with the devil here Ooh, be careful thank you daddy long legs I don't even know what to say. Like, it should probably come across at this point. I'm fairly speechless. I have no idea what's been happening on this run. Um, the odds of us finding one, like, Isaac's room on a run are, like, probably, like, one in eight or something like that. It's pretty rare. The odds of us finding two... Oh, my God. The odds of us finding two on sequential floors, one of them being, you know, the ability to skip further than you should even be allowed to go on the challenge. You know, I'm not a I'm not a mathematician, but I would say the odds of that are probably a little bit lower than that. Uh, there is the this thing up here, uh, not this one. That could have been bad. Not this one. Where the hell was it? Maybe it was over to the right here. Yeah. How do we do this in such a way that we can actually access these? I'm gonna have to use two bombs. I should have done this to begin with. It's a very weird setup for me. Well, at least there's, like, more red hearts that we know what to do with. Uh, I don't really want to take the moon card because I'm worried that I will never be able to find my way back to where I'm supposed to go. We have not been down here. Oh, oh okay, okay, okay. That's fine. Thank you, flies. I'm appreciative of your, uh, of your appreciation here. Thank you for your hard work. So this is the head trauma challenge. pretty exciting mostly I'm just really glad I don't have tiny planet right now but it's become a different beast altogether I'm so happy we have daddy long legs that item alone can carry us the mom's heart fight is gonna be a fucking disaster though oh good yeah uh, I'll just be going to the gauntlet room if you don't mind I think I want to fight more enemies that was horrifying. 
Spiders are pretty quick. I'm a little quick, but these spiders are pretty quick. Trying to get around me here. You can't break these cuffs. I mean, we've got to be coming across our... Oh, there it is, right there. Nah, disregard. Alright, double cage. I don't love these guys. This room always or often fucks me in the butt in a way that I am not happy with on... Um, oh my god. On uh, the dark room. So the more daddy long legs can land, the more poison shots I can get in there, the happier we'll be. That was terrible dodging on my part, but let's just be okay with it, okay? The most important thing is just that we live. We can get some more duty looting legs. There we go. I don't think we're due for a deal with the devil or anything on this run, but at least we'll get an item to maybe make our lives easier. Oh, shit. Okay. This is fine. It's good even, you know? Test your metal. The trophy. I'll take it. Okay! I have no idea what to say about that, but we won. On our next run, we'll be doing Darkness Falls. If you enjoyed that episode, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. That was weird. I'll see you next time.